I need the old. I need the ever real. Oh, 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 I need the oh. Savior, I come to to the. I'm back. I'm back, y'all. I am back with another video. This is another day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. He didn't have to wake me up early this morning, but he did. And I am so glad he did. Say what? Allowing your girl another chance to get it right. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This is another beautiful, wonderful evening. Because it's evening now, y'all. I done got out work. As you can see, God is good. He is good. I know you ain't seen me did one in a long time, but I am here now. I pray that everyone has been doing well, has been blessed. Welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you for riding with me, JoJo. And all my old subscribers, welcome back. I love you with the love of the Lord. So we're going to get right down in it and we ain't going to... I'm not going to hold you long. I'm just coming just to read a little bit to you. I'm going to let the reader read for a chance. We're going to go into Second Peter, second chapter. I'm going to let you listen a little bit. Second Peter 2, but there were false prophets also among the people, mm. even as there shall be false teachers among you. False prophets were back then among the people, even though it's false prophets now. Y'all got to keep your eyes open for false prophets coming to deceive you, leading you astray, doing any and everything. Every time you look around, you got somebody say the Lord had called me to preach. Everybody he ain't called. Many are called, but few are chosen. So be aware of the false prophet coming out to deceive you and lead you wrong. And it said they're going to lead a lot of people astray. So keep your eyes open in a time like this. Who privily shall bring in damnable heresies even denying the Lord that bore them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. They bringing upon themselves swift destruction. Everybody know what destruction means. That means it tornadoes, hard times in your life, sickness, anything that that, that gonna cause you and make, shake you up, that gonna hurt you. That's destruction. Destruction is coming. When you teaching God, folks, the wrong thing, God, little lamb. The wrong thing, because we belong to the Lord, even though we may not know what we should know. Then you're coming around trying to deceive people. Mm, destruction is coming to you, and it ain't nothing nice. Because when you stand before the Lord, he going to say, I know you not. That's going to be a terrible, terrible thing. 
and many shall follow their pernicious ways mm. by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of mm. and through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you mm. whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not and their damnation slumbereth not for if god spared not the angels that sinned but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment mm -hmm. and spared not the old world Mm -hmm. But saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, mm -hmm. and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly, and delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and oh, hearing yeah. vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful Beautiful. deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations. And See, he know. If he didn't spare them back in those days, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah, when they were doing all kind of sin and stuff, worshiping the idol God, all kind of sex sin, all kind of stuff were going on. If he didn't spare them and he destroyed that world, you know he don't like what we're doing today. If he didn't, he, you know, he it rained for 40 days, 40 nights, and destroyed, saved nobody but Noah and his family. Do you think that all this sin that's going on today, that the Lord just going to let you sit back and let you get away with it? No, 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 no. He trying to wake us up, get us out of all this sinful stuff. Get us out of all this doing folks wrong. When you go to work in the morning or evening and night on your job, chaos is on your job. You got people that don't know how to treat people. Talk to them any kind of way. I remember when management had to respect people and you, you couldn't do them but give them respect. Managers now don't have no respect for nobody. They hollering, cursing. Oh, and they get away with it. The world just a gap where he said you got to be careful. All these things going to come where love just is wax cold. People don't care nothing about you no more. You got sisters killing sisters and brothers killing brothers and little bitty children killing, getting guns. Where they getting the guns from? You got young folks just can't, don't care nothing about your life, killing you for just no reason at all. You scared to trust the police now because the police is beating you and killing you. You scared to even stop for them. And it's just getting to be sad. We see that we living in the time that he said that was going to come. And we see all this now. And we still going on doing what we've been doing all the time. Cussing folks out. Backstabbing one another. Killing up one another. Having all kind of sex scene, don't care. You ain't mad having sex over here, over there. Worship all kind of idol God. If you worship your car, if you worship in your house, if you worship any little thing, your jewelry that you wear around your neck. Some people got so much jewelry on their neck, you know, they keep wearing their neck down like that. That you know, you don't take all that to know that you somebody you want somebody to know you got money to get killed. They're shooting up in the churches, the house of God. No respect, no more for nobody. Love just don't went wax cold. People don't want you to tell them what's right. As long as you gossiping and you talking to them, they're going along with it. The Lord is getting tired. Any kind of way he just sweeping around your front door and you ain't paying no attention. You go on rebuild like it's nobody business. You go on do the thing and you keep doing just what you've been doing all the time. 
Y'all got to be careful. We got to be careful of all these false prophets that we following, that we got to buy, you know, jets and for them to go here and go there. And they got so many churches that they don't even know nobody in their own church. How they know your needs and they got 700 people over there that who know them? Got to be careful of people telling you the wrong thing. That's why you got to read the Bible for yourself. Get a relationship with God. Study to show yourself approval. You need wisdom, ask God for it. He will give it to you. But just don't go following on anybody over here and over there. All that stuff that ain't containing to God and it contained to man. We follow stuff that's not in the word. We falling out to stuff that we don't know what they're saying and we falling on the floor. They laying hands on you. Don't let everybody lay their hands on you. All these different spirits. And you falling out and don't know what God done told you. You don't know what the spirit had come upon you. I know I'm talking to somebody. I'm talking to me. Just don't do it. Don't take man's word for everything. If it don't sound like it's, it's right, pick that Bible up and study it. Because you don't want to be led astray. We don't know. We're here today, but tomorrow is not promised to us. We need to get it right today while the blood is running warm in our veins. Don't wait till it's too late. Because we never know when he's coming and knocking on our door saying, let's go. You don't want to be trying to get right. You want to be right. Because we're leaving here. We can't stay here. This is not our home. Food is high as I don't know what. Gas is high. <clears throat> we got to open up our eyes and see what God is saying to us. We got to open up our ears where we can hear what's going on, what people is telling us. Stop following everybody. Stop being in a crowd of people that misusing folks and janking and joking and, and ain't nothing, nothing serious hating on people. Let's get a little more love in our heart. They speak evil of things that they don't know. They're not containing of the word. I've just been sitting back listening, praying that God will wake us up. Praying that, Lord, I hear you. When it's raining, and thundering, and lightning, and they're talking about tornadoes and wind, I don't like to be out there in it. I like to be in the comforts of my own home, listening to God, praying, asking him to keep my eyes and my ears open, keeping a watchful eye out, because we living in Paris time. We living in Paris time. Every time you turn on the TV and the news, is something bad going on. On. Every time you turn around, it's always something. But he done already forewarned us that these things is going to happen. So you won't have to be alert and alarmed saying that what's going on. You know what's going on when you read the word. Now, I didn't come to say all this, but I pray that we wake up. And we be ready when the Lord come. We need to be getting our house in order now. Don't serve the Lord. Come on out the world. The world love is on. It don't love us. This is not our home. The world love is on. 
and it'll drag you out there in there and drag you down. I love you, Jesus. So, let's go on and do a quick prayer, and I'm going to get out of here. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come thanking you for this beautiful, wonderful day that you have made, dear Lord. A day that we have never seen before. Four, you keep on allowing us chance after chance to get it right, dear Lord. And Lord, open our eyes and our ears up that we can receive you in, dear Lord. Let us draw closer and closer to you. Don't let us be all this backbiting, sliding, and lying on one another and hateful. Lord, give us a clean heart. Watch us white and stove, dear Lord. Dear Lord, we need you now more than we ever need you, dear Lord. And we cannot get along without you. Keep your loving arms around us. Keep us sheltered, dear Lord. In your blood, dear Lord, keep your blood wrapped around us, dear Lord, because we know these bad times is coming. But you told us that we don't have to worry because it's not going to come nigh us, but we're going to see it. Lord, we ask that you keep us safe. Give us a clean spirit, dear Lord. We ask this, dear Lord, in your son Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and glory be to God. I pray that you all will have a blessed and wonderful night. And I tell you that if you haven't subscribed to the channel, come on over if you like the content and subscribe to me, JoJo. And my game, we, I mean, we out soldiers battling for the Lord. And then if you would like to leave a comment, Go ahead on and leave a comment. Whatever you leave, I am grateful and I will read it. And if I don't get back right now, don't hold it to me. Don't count it against me, dear, because I have so much to do. And then if you want to be notified when I put anything else on it, hit that notification bell where you can be notified when anytime I bring anything else on here. And I tell you that I just love my old subscriber and my new subscriber. We are learning the word together. I don't know everything. You may not know everything. But together, we can get it right. And with that being said, I will see you on the next video. Jesus loves you so, 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 so much. And so do I. And I am out.